Thanks for clicking play, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be ruining my van some more. Uh, not really, we're going to be doing the overhead storage, the cab storage, but I had an idea of the way I wanted to do it, and when I started looking at videos on the internet, I couldn't find one person doing it the way I planned on doing it. Now there might be a reason for that, it might be that it's a very terrible idea, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to start with the blade first, and then if that doesn't work we'll go to the saw, but I think the saw's a bit extreme. Let's see. Hot knife through butter! I apologise for the video quality here, I just got a new camera and I completely ruined the settings. I actually started doing this really early on in the build, that's why you can see all the exposed insulation. So after attacking the original headline and trying to cut it in a straight line, which was completely wrong, I started making measurements and made a cardboard template because I wanted a piece of wood to go in over the original headlining that I just cut to pieces. But obviously I didn't have a piece of card that big, so I just cut random pieces and stuck it together with brown tape, then laid it on a piece of wood and yeah sketched around it and then you know we go to cutting next again i apologize for the camera quality here i just got a brand new camera and yeah i was i wasn't great with the settings at this point but it does get better towards the end of the video the headline in. I've put some like supporting things in there to keep it in. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. All right so we're getting somewhere. Lining's kind of back in. This is almost in the right place. Yeah I'm just making this up as I go along. I've repositioned where the conduit's going so it's out of the way. I didn't have a bracket so I've made some little thing out of copper. I've also put this strip that kind of neatens it all up but this strip will let me attach the rest of the framework so I can clad the inside as well. I've made these weird shaped brackets. I've trimmed the excess clad in. I've got some spare clad in and coated the back of them and I've got some insulation foil to start assembling these things. And there we go, it's finished. Thanks for watching the video. Nah, I'm kidding. It's fucking horrible and there's still a lot of words to do. So this has been the biggest mistake I have made so far. I wish I hadn't done this, but here's where we're up to. I fully removed the remaining headline in just to give me access to the bits underneath and I pulled all the carpet off it because it's going to get re-carpeted eventually. I then thought it'd be clever and I added some extra cables to the second light, which should be useful a bit further in the video. Once the cables were done, I tried refitting the head lining thing and I needed to trim more off, so I had to remove it again. And then I went to fit it and I needed to trim some more off it. So this the whole thing was in and out three or four times, which is really annoying. So that's where we're up to. The headlining thing is fully fitted back in and secured. Eventually I'm gonna carpet this entire thing. Now I'm gonna fit the inside panels and side pieces and then I'm, I'm, I'm nearly there, I'm pretty much done. Famous last words.
I forgot to film making the door front, but it probably doesn't matter because I'll probably rebuild it anyway. I'm not really happy with it, but I just put a couple of basic hinges, a neodymium magnet so it stays closed. Up at the top, there's a very visible gap that I'm not very happy about. I need to do something with that. And then there is a huge gap with the door and the side panel here, so that's why I need to rebuild it somehow. The lines don't even meet up on the cladding, so yeah, it's going to be rebuilt at some point. I used Sikaflex to fill in the spaces between the headliner and the wood and smooth the corner off so it looks nice and neat when I apply the carpet. Okay, so we've got spray adhesive, we've got carpet. Oh yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. And because it's such a weird shape, I don't know exactly how much this I need to use, so I can't trim it down yet. So it's going to go on in one big blob and then we'll trim it afterwards, I think, I hope. Let's see. Okay, so I was taking my time putting it on, one piece, clamping it, letting it dry, second section, clamping it, letting it dry, third section. I'm up to a stage now where I kind of know what's going on and what material I need, so I'm gonna trim both sides and hopefully that should make it a bit easier to carry on with the next sections. Well, that's what I was gonna do until I started cutting that and nearly fucked it up instantly. So I'm going to carry on sticking it and we'll, we'll trim it at the end, yeah. Trim it at the end. So this has probably been the trickiest, most painful, horrible part of the van so far, but the results are pretty awesome, like it looks so so good, apart from like a few sections where the carpet's creased because I was learning how to use it, you know, it looks like it's meant to be there, like it looks like it came from the factory that way. Like, apart from a few little things here and there, but yeah, it, it looks awesome and I'm very very happy with it. But a wouldn't do it again. <laughs> or would I? I don't know. Maybe I would. I just thought, right, I don't know. So why did I do this stupid method that no one else has done? Well, a lot of people just bolt a piece of wood into the existing headlining. Now, the cab to me seems to be one of the places that heats up the most. So I really wanted to get some insulation between the roof and the cab to try cool it down a bit because you know you've got a piece of metal that is just facing forwards that's just gathering heat so that's the main reason I wanted to do it this way put the board up put insulation and then kind of box it out so it looks nice 
Because this one was such a painful project, it's probably taken me well over a year to get it done from start to finish. Like, I was struggling, and then I'd get to sections where I didn't know what I was doing next, so I'd just move on to something else, and then it became a bit more tedious, and I'd just abandon it, but like, push through, got it done, and yeah, it looks great. So thanks very much for watching. As usual, any tips, questions, or suggestions, stick them in the comments below. And yeah, it's coming along. The videos are pretty exciting now, so hopefully I'll see you in the next one where we're close to finishing this kind of area. Here comes the prices. Whoop.